won an <laughs> award for best school for ICT in the United Kingdom and Wales? Uh, when we teach, we teach very much to a skills framework uh, to ensure that children have skills that they'll use not only within our school, but skills that will help them in later life, uh, in secondary education, right way through to the, the world of work that we're hoping that we're preparing them for. It'll be much easier when we go to college because we're like we're only in primary school. We know like how to use it quite well. We have moved away from a real focus on written recording and reporting, and so the children record and report their work through photos and videos, and these are then broadcast outside each and every classroom with a digital photo frame. At the end of every term, these are uploaded to the website, and the children annotate these with regards to the learning objective or the key skill so that they can use this as an opportunity to reflect upon the learning and evaluate where they're going and the next steps. I started iPhone development uh, over a year ago and I released a simple app called Welsh Lessons in summer 2009. I thought it would sell a few hundred copies and over the last year it's now sold nearly 10,000 copies. Because of the success of Welsh Lessons we got talking to Quebec about uh, taking their courses for adults and turning them into electronic resources and what the electronic resource does and does much better than say a CD is it allows you to access the information that you want at your rate and in the way that you want. We teach undergrad students both Android and iPhone programming and have them building student projects using those technologies. But also we're part of a WEFO project called Software Alliance Wales. Uh, and within Software Alliance Wales, we've been running courses for industry, teaching them the best ways of building uh, iPhone and iPad apps. The intention of the Software Alliance Wales project is to help Welsh companies be the best in the world.